So today uh, we are having an art show for um, our social justice group here at the church. And the idea was who I am and what I know and to that to be expressed through whatever sort of art form you would like so that we can start to begin that conversation of how we all come from different places and are different people and have different experiences and yet come together so beautifully in the art that's here. I had studied art in college, and when I graduated, I sort of stopped doing art and pursued teaching art, but never really doing art. And when the pandemic struck, I was at home, and there was nothing to do, so I started painting again. There were just amazing flowers coming up everywhere during such a grave and sad period of the pandemic that they cheered me up, and since then, I have not stopped painting. I learned to make baskets like this when I was a kid. This is a style of basketry that's called Nantucket baskets. And traditionally they are all round and they're all made on a wooden mold and they're all the same color. They're all these sort of natural colors. So I had a little bit more fun with this one, putting in some colors, changing up the weaving pattern. And this one is actually woven around glass so you can use it practically as a vase. This is a memory of mine. It's from 1983. It was the first Gay Pride March I had ever gone to. I was terrified to go there. This is the State House, and it was this moment in time where I just felt compelled to get in the march. And the first thing I saw was this banner, which are the words to a song that my father would sing around the house all the time. And when I saw the words, I thought, you know what, if these words are here, I can do this. A couple years ago, after George Floyd was killed, we joined the rest of the country in protesting, but then felt we wanted to do more. And so we started a social justice group, and we have found ways to educate ourselves and to try to bring that message outside of our church walls to other people, that people are people and God made us all equal, and we should need to respect that even if we don't agree with them. We really hoped to get a conversation going here. I think that talking about social justice issues can be really hard, but when you start from yourself and your own identity, that's a place that a lot of people feel comfortable. And so by having people create something about themselves and their own identity, that allowed us to have sort of a safe entry point to this bigger idea of social justice and social change. Just out of the darkness comes bright, inspiring imagery. Regardless of where we are, we can find it. When darkness falls, which is what the pandemic is, evil grows in the dark and it's time to come out. It's time for the sun to shine, and for people to come out. And so we wanted to draw people out and say, hey, who are you? What do you know about social justice? Because there's been a lot of social injustice lately. And when we come out, we have these over our faces and we can't even see each other and it's hard to talk. So let's talk. I think the biggest thing is that the differences are also beautiful. And it comes together to this amazing art show with all these different kind of pieces and things I wouldn't have ever thought of where social justice can convey that picture in so many amazing ways. And so to walk away knowing that things that may seem everyday for us hold significance to other people. And that's why it's important to kind of respect people and the different perspectives that we come from. It's because we all see things in the world differently and yet they're all beautiful.